Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I write under the pen names Lara Parrish and I'm one half of the USA Today best-selling duo Kennedy Fox. And it's been a while. It's been a long while. And um, my life <laughs> has completely changed. Um, I'm going to really try not to get emotional. But as you can see, I have already failed. I have made this video at least three times. Not today, just over the last uh, two months, I have tried to make this video. And it's hard, it's so hard getting back into routine, but I'm really trying. With that being said, um, if you are following me on social media, if uh, you have checked the community tabs, I know it's kind of hard to keep up with everybody and everything going on in everyone's life, but my dad passed away about two months ago. It's funny because the last time I recorded a video or I was on YouTube um, was May 22nd. And uh, basically after I got done with my live stream, I got a phone call that I needed to go see my dad. As soon as I left the live stream, we got in the car and we drove to where my dad was. And so the last time that you guys saw me actually the last time that my dad saw me too. Not that I will ever get over this because that's basically impossible. But I'm trying to get back to normal. I'm trying to get back into the routine of doing everything. I'm trying to get back into the routine of my life, the way that things were. And it's been very difficult. So that's why you guys haven't seen me. And I really did not want to make a video where I was doing this. I've tried so hard to record and it's just been very difficult. It's not easy. It's not easy to just come online and pretend like everything is okay because that's not reality. Like I always want to come on here and be my true self. I want to be genuine with you guys. I want to tell you what's going on and you know, I had goals for 2021 and for, for the most part, this year has been worse than 2020, which I didn't think was possible, but it is. And I'm just hoping now that uh, I have found pretty much the very bottom that things get better. I have been trying to keep myself occupied, of course, we still continued to meet deadlines after dad passed away. I had to finish writing a book. So, you know, none of that stopped. I maybe wasn't as friendly or available or wanted to even talk to people for a very long time. I just wanted to be alone and kind of grieve. But then again, I don't want to be alone. It's it's just a lot of back and forth and fighting an internal battle with what my life is today. It's different. It's not the same. But I want to get back to routine and I want to still make my goals and I want to continue forward just like I promised my dad I would. I'm the ugliest crier in the world. But I know that if I don't record this, or if I record it and I don't post it, then it'll, I'll wait another few months and I just need to rip the Band-Aid off. Okay. <laughs> With 2021, I had a lot of goals. I came into this year with hope, with a high expectation for myself, with a lot of really big goals. And I know I say this a lot, but I'm always like, 
I can't control everything. Wish that I could control the future. You know, those are the things that I worry about is what's going to happen in the future. And I will work myself up over analyzing everything. And so 2021, I could have never predicted that I would be dealing with this. You guys know that my mom doesn't drive. Um, and I've been doing a lot of stuff for her since all this stuff happened with my dad. And now it's come to the point where my life is making sure that my mother has everything taken care of. And there's been a lot of really huge obstacles that I've had to cross. Things that I thought would never happen. There's been a lot of paperwork requested and I've just been doing a lot of personal stuff like that. There's a lot going on in my life that's outside of writing. And writing for me is the only constant. It's just, it's very hard to concentrate. It's very hard to write. It's very hard to do things that require concentration sometimes. Like it's very difficult. Right now I'm in the middle of editing and I feel like I read the same stuff, the same paragraph over and over because my mind is racing so much that sometimes it's hard for me to concentrate on what I'm doing. And I'm trying to work through it the best that I can. It's really hard. This video needs to be made and it needs to be posted and I know people are probably going to come at me in the comments and be like, Courtney, don't force yourself to do things. Don't whatever. Take your time. But I know that if I don't get back into the habit and I don't get back into the routine then it'll just be another thing swept under the rug and I want to find my normal the normal that I've had for years the best that I can and so that's why I'm doing this it's to help me move forward and plus I feel like you know those of y'all who have become part of my YouTube family you deserve an explanation of what's been going on with me you deserve to hear me come on here and talk about things even if it's very hard and it's time for me to start picking up the pieces and to try to find what my life is now and that's hard it's so hard if you've ever lost a parent then you know that and you know, it's an it's inevitable. We will all go through this at some point. I'm thankful that writing is my job. I will forever be grateful for having Kennedy Fox where I could spend borrowed time that I had with my dad. I will forever be grateful for that. And I'm so happy that so many of you care about me on a personal level, not just a, oh, Courtney, know stuff about self-publishing like y'all actually care about my life my real life and uh i appreciate it i'm i'm very humbled by how many of you are subscribed and care and comment and reach out to me on instagram to make sure i'm okay or you know whatever <laughs> y'all know who you are um of course some people are just here for the info which that's youtube there's others who just you know care about me as a person and that means a lot to me. I've got a few intentions or goals or whatever that I'm trying to set for the last half. My goals are pretty clear-cut. Uh, the first one is to continue forward with Kennedy Fox and not miss any deadlines and get ahead on my writing and my editing and that's always been my goal for 2021 and after all this happened it was just kind of like a wake-up call that you know if we keep pushing at the same rate that we are going right now, there will be burnout. It gives no room for mistake. It gives no room for sickness. It gives no room for deaths in the family. And that stuff happens and you can't predict it. You can't control it. You just have to deal with it. You know, 2021 has been just a dumpster fire for me. It started off with me getting COVID. <laughs> and then, you know, my dad's health declined and I dealt with all of that. And it's just the first half of 2021 was really rough for me. It can only go up from here and I'm staying positive. I am trying to look ahead and keep the promises that I made to my dad. The second goal that I have is to continue forward with my traditional publishing that I've been talking about for 
forever. I feel like it's been two years now that I've been talking about this traditional publishing journey that I want to go on. But, you know, it's something that I told my dad that I was going to do, that we talked about. And so, my goal is to plot a book and have the first draft written by January 1st, 2022. And then I will spend a few months getting it ready to pitch to agents. Third thing that I want to do is be consistent on YouTube. Oh my god. I I set a goal of having 10,000 subscribers by January 1st of 2022. If you are not subscribed, hey, go down there, <laughs> click subscribe, um, notification bell, all that stuff the real YouTubers tell you to do. I know that I also set a goal of publishing 50 videos this year and I went and looked. I'm sorry if y'all hear thunder, there's like a storm outside, but I went and looked at the videos that I had posted, not counting live streams. I don't count those as like real videos, but I went and looked and I had published six in <laughs> seven months. Like that sucks. And it goes back to me over promising and under delivering. And like I mentioned, my life has been a cluster. I've been at my very low the last two months and I'm ready to jump back in. So with the writing and all of that, uh, I hope to make a comeback <laughs> and you know publish videos that you guys care about. So happy that writing became my job at exactly the right time. Sometimes the universe is so crazy. Like when you think about it and the way that things just work out, it's like, wow, you know, could have never predicted any of this. I've been trying to keep busy and I've been trying to keep up with the things that I need to do for Kennedy Fox. Thankfully, I have a writing partner who understands and, you know, doesn't get upset with me if I'm just quiet or whatever and I have friends who check on me all the time and make sure I'm doing good and I'm so happy that I have a loving relationship with my husband because he's been my rock through all of this. I don't know what I'd do without him honestly but yeah I've been keeping busy. We're building out a van. I posted on Instagram back in I guess it was January February, <laughs> some point at the beginning of 2021. It had to have been the beginning of February. We bought a Ram Pro Master and we've been building it out because we're planning on going to Yellowstone for our annual birthday anniversary trip that we do. I would say every year, but it's not every year. This is only our third time to go. So we've been building out a van and it's been a really fun process. We have no idea what we're doing watched a lot of YouTube videos, have done a lot of research, and I'm thankful that I've had a project like that to do because it's hard when your mind is all over the place or you're sad or you're upset or you're crying, grieving, all those things. It's hard to be creative. And if you're one of those people who can just dive right in and write and create when you are like this, that's amazing. I wish that was me, but it's not me. Um, I'm the type of person who just wants to lay in bed with the covers over my head all day and start over the next day. I'm the type of person who just drowns myself in my emotions. I'm a highly emotional person. And so it's not that easy for me to just be like, oh, I've, I'm, I'm suffering. I'm sad. I'm upset. Let me go write a book. <laughs> like, who can do that? It's not me. Um, I'll be the first one to tell you that it's it's hard. Uh, finishing that book while all this stuff was going on, planning a funeral and all that, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Coincidentally, it was my 40th book to be released. And, you know, it was supposed to be a very happy time, but I couldn't be happy. It was hard. Every day it gets a little easier. I've got my good days and I've got my bad days. I'm trying really hard. I'm trying real hard. I know I'll get through this. Dad had told someone that he wasn't worried about me, that he knew when he was gone that I'd be okay, that I'd handle everything. 
and that I was strong and that he wasn't worried about me, that he knew that I could take care of myself and that I'd be fine. And I made a lot of promises to him, promises that I intend on keeping, that I will keep no matter what. And one of them was that I would do the traditional publishing and then I would write a book and I would pitch it to agents along with taking care of my mom and making sure she was fine and just a lot of promises. And dad knew I'd stay true to my word and I will. I'm sorry if you hear my stomach. <laughs> I need to eat lunch. Um, but anyway, that's what's been going on with me. And you know, the last half of 2021, I hope that it is going to be amazing. I'm going to try really hard to make it amazing. Things are looking up and I am holding on to that, that things are going to get better. We have a book that's releasing in August, which is basically already written. We're going through self edits right now. Um, there's a release in October and November and December. And so I know the last half of the year is going to be extremely busy for me, but I am going camping in October and November for 10 days each and those will be workations. So I'll have 20 days out in the wilderness to write. And so I'm hoping that that gives me the opportunity to really catch up on our releases, to get ahead, to start edit sooner because the November and December release are going to be difficult because of the holidays. I'm sure y'all remember this whole discussion last year when I was like, we screwed ourselves. We're going to miss this release day. I was freaking out. And like, I know that that same thing is going to happen this year. And so I'm trying to prepare myself for it so it does not happen. So I do not stress myself out to the max over releasing. I also want to vlog my trips, but I don't know if I should do it under this channel because yes, there will be writing, but for the most part, it's going to be fun stuff and, you know, I've gone back and forth with vlogging under this channel and just doing whatever the hell I want or creating another channel for that. And so I haven't decided yet. Um, I just, I don't know, like I look at some YouTubers and I'm like, wow, you're so lucky. You get to just, you know, share your life. And that's easy. You know, it can be monotonous at times and boring for some people, but you get to share your life. And I know that this channel, the niche, the niche, as everyone says, is, uh, is about writing, but writing is my life. So I struggle with what I should do with my travel videos, like home movies. Like I like going back and watching them because it brings me back to that point in my life where I was probably the happiest that I've been. Um, I mean, now I'm just a different person. Things things are different. I'm still the same at my core. I still have the same values and beliefs and, you know, I still have the same passions, but pain changes you. Loss changes you. And that's something that I've got to deal with and I've got to work through. And I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm really trying. So, yeah. I haven't decided yet. I kind of want to just make a vlog channel where I vlog, but <laughs> I feel like it would cross over. I don't know what the answer is. I do not know what the answer is. Of course, I want to talk about the van, that the van has been a lifesaver. My job as Kennedy Fox has been a lifesaver, and I know that there are going to be good things coming up. It's just been a crazy time, and I think back to my life and I'm like, is this really my life? Like, I watch my old videos and I'm like, girl, you were sitting here complaining about your life and you have no idea. Like, those were the good old days. Those days are gone. Can never go back to that. It just kind of like puts things into perspective. It puts my life into perspective. Like, when I go back and watch those old videos and I talk about how stressed out I am. Courtney, back in 2017 and 2018 and even 2019 at the beginning, had no idea what stress was, had no idea what worry was, had no idea what loss was. Courtney back then was a baby. That's all I have to say. 
I am much stronger now. My dad was a Marine and one of their sayings is pain is weakness <laughs> leaving the body, right? And so I know that when my heart heals and all of this pain kind of like scabs over and all that's left is a scar, I will be strong as hell because there's nothing in the world that hurts quite like this. Nothing. So with that being said, I am going to, um, to wrap this video up. I'm very rambly. I, I know that. I apologize if y'all are compassion criers just like me. Um, my empathy for people when they cry is just really high. So you could be crying about the dumbest thing and I will cry with you. It's just watching somebody do that. So if you are like me, I apologize in advance. Well, actually, it's already happened. I apologize <laughs> for that. The next time you see me, I will not be in the state. I will be a YouTuber who comes on here and talks about writing. Yeah, that's the goal. I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to come back. This is me officially saying I'm back, baby. Dad would want me to do that. He'd be like, why are you sitting around crying? Uh, build a bridge and get over it. Um, so I'm going to stay true to that. Dad was hardcore. Um, like I said, Marine. We used to call him drill sergeant when I was a kid. So now I do things to make him proud and I'm going to continue with that. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I appreciate y'all so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing, incredible week. You accomplish all your goals and you write all the words and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye guys.